Hello there, fine folks of the Blenderverse. Don't you hate this as well, when you're working in geometry nodes and want to displace something with a texture and it moves in awkward ways? Like for example, you have a mesh grid and to displace it, you plug a noise texture into a set position node and maybe even use a vector math node set to scale to scale the whole thing. Getting this to work is a pretty easy fix and I did this so many times that I created a node group with master scaling and individual axis scaling that I use in almost every geometry nodes project. It is so useful that I decided to share this knowledge in this following tutorial with you. Oh, by the way, this is Chris aka TT and you are watching the Toxic Tuber channel. So let's get it on. Switching the vector math node to multiply and dragging the sliders displaces the points of the grid in only one direction along the according axis. But because this is driven by a noise texture, the displacement happens over different distances. The scale function multiplies all dimensions of the vector by the same value. But still the points don't move driven by the noise texture randomly in all directions. And to not be that clickbaity YouTuber and make you watch until the end of the whole video for this small hint. Here we go. To remap the texture for a really wild displacement, you need a vector math node set to subtract and subtract 0 0.5 from every dimension. Hit that thumb up button now, if this helped you already. Follow along and in no time we'll have created a very useful node group. It's always good to understand why something works the way it does. So let me explain what's going wrong here. Control shift left click gives us a preview of geometry and data. A preview of the color output of the noise texture on our current geometry gives us this random but colorful noise. For demonstration purposes, I separate this colorful noise by its three dimensions that are x, y, z, which is in this case the same as splitting it by red, green and blue color channel. And color values usually go from 0 to 255 or in Blender's case from 0 to 1. So when multiplying or scaling these 0 to 1 values you can see it get brighter as the values become bigger. And basic math tells us these random values all turn into positive values. So displacing with these values only displaces in a diagonal direction with varying strength. Remapping the 0 to 1 gradient to the new range from minus 0.5 to positive 0.5 centers all the random values around 0. And scaling or multiplying these drags the negative random values farther into the negative and the positives into the positive. So now we displace in all directions. So let's expand this already functional setup. Usually the vector math scale is easier to handle, but now set the operation type to multiply. Add a utilities vector combine xyz node and plug it into the bottom socket. Add a utilities converter math node, set it to multiply and type in 1 for both values. Now duplicate the math node twice and connect them to the combine xyz node. Select all math, vector math and combine xyz node and hit ctrl G to put them in a node group. N opens the right panel and in the group tab change the input from vector to color and name it texture. Plug the top socket of any math node into the group input and rename this to scale master and connect this new input socket to the top socket of every math node. Each other socket of the math nodes gets its own input socket and rename it to scale xyz accordingly. Tab of course exits the node group. So far so good. Dragging some sliders shows this is working already. But what if we don't want to upset Blender by offsetting just a single plane but a real 3D body like for example a sphere. 
This actually looks a little bit weird, but we can fix this either by multiplying with the normals after the node group and it will look like this. But since we are right now building a node group to not have to redo redundant steps every time, we will do this right inside the node group. So select the node group and hit tab to get back inside. Add a input fields normal node, duplicate a vector math node that is set to multiply already and multiply the vector with the normals and drag the result of this operation to a new output node. In the end panel we rename this output to normal and the first output to direction or directional. Try it and you will see displacing with the normals vector leads to smoother displacement, while the directional vector is a bit more jagged. And there you have it, a shiny new node group for your geometry nodes projects that you can and should immediately add to your asset browser. Of course, giving the node group a meaningful name, like texture mapping, texture remapping, texture over zero, makes it easier to find it again in the asset browser. So like, subscribe, join my Patreon, leave a nice comment or click some other buttons on this website. You've been watching the Toxic Tuba channel. I have more useful tutorials and crazy artworks on the channel. Go check that out. See you on the other side. TT out.